Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold Complete Randomizer. Last time we beat Bugsy and we beat Silver, but well, actually Dudley in this game. But uh, we unfortunately lost our starter, and kind of sad about that. But because of that, and we have the egg, we got a couple of our members up to speed. Harry, same type, and Drake, it's also the same type. No changes really, just the levels. And now we time to do the Ilex Forest, where we can get our next encounter. Which is an Espeon. Which is interesting. Hmm. I don't know what type it is, and I don't exactly have a move to check. Plus level 5. Let's see. Let's see. We can actually catch this thing. On the oh, wow. Okay. That was pretty simple, honestly. It's psychic. Pure psychic, which is kind of funny. Um... I'm gonna name you Frank. Don't know why I've been going with just normal people names. I should probably change that up soon. Oh man, my boss is gonna be angry. The far fetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Jesus. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face towards you. That's your chance. Do you think you can do that? You know I can do that. It's not gonna be a challenge. Actually, I'm gonna go make a, um... Let's see. Oh, let's put, let's put some items back on... I think. I took some items off because I didn't know if I was gonna redo my team. And that was a while ago. And I just never put it back on. No one has a fire type move. No one has a second type move. Hmm. That's it. Psychic. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, repels. Do I have any? Yes, right here. Eight of them. Hello, Liz. Let's go open this. Hey, good morning, Mrs. Liz. Listen. I saw a beautiful Pokemon fan. I wish you could become a Pokemon fan too. Call you later. This is why I don't answer you. No, I have to go this way. Nope, wrong one. And there's a pretty cool item here, which is gonna be a Max Revive, which is free money. Right. In that corner of this thing. Jesus Christ, repel. I don't remember how to do this, but this is a stupid baby puzzle, so... Oh. It's kinda simple, actually. Gotcha, buddy. Why can't I just battle it, faint it, and then just... You know. Destroy it. Ah, my far-fetched. Without them... You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees with charcoal, thanks. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. HMO 1, which is cut. Cool. Let's see. Use cut. Cool. Hop was able to learn it, and... Well, you pure dragon that's up in defense. For whatever reason. Garage, get cut, and make our way 
towards whatever. Towards I always get the name. It's a very iconic. Also a zap plate, which is good for electric type moves. And electric type Pokemon. And Charmeleon did learn. I had to think about that for a second. Charmeleon did learn a pretty cool item. Move. When he leveled up last, which was uh, off screen. But he did get Thunder Punch. So that will help. I think it's safe. Ooh. Why can I escape from this thing? Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. More repels. I wonder if I kept the... I'm pretty sure I kept the field moves the same, too. Unless he's just doing random stuff with, like, Fire Blast. Um, you... Oh, I can't learn how but Jesus Christ. Wow. All five of my Pokemon can't learn Headbutt except for the one that can learn it. Hmm. I guess it's funny. Oh, this girl. Come on, oh, girl. Come on, a girl. Lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark. Ilex Forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyways, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Yes, you will. Aren't you lost in the forest as well? I think you know how to get out of here. Let's go hop it. Wow, are you gonna go show me how to get out of here? Words. You're just a smart Pokemon. See you. Yo, hop it just showed her what's up. But, uh... Now Razor Fang, so we can evolve the Sneasel if we wanted to. Now we're out. Talk to this lady. Talk to this lady. TM 12. TM just 12. I want to see what that is. It is... Drill Pack. Also, Jigglypuff was holding TM 91, which was Fire Fang. Or Fire Punch. It's Fire Fang. But, this is where I do my training. But... A couple minutes into the first episode, and now we finally have our first trainer. He's nowhere near our status. Goodbye. Oh, cool. Special facial lens. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we win. Who you got this? Let's... Hammer, I'm probably gonna one-shot. If it hits the mark. Are you Dragon Steel? Are you Dialga? Stop missing! You don't have Hustle. Pretty sure you don't. Oh, there goes Polywag. Ditto. Ditto has one move. I don't remember what, remember what type it was. But it was a type. Dead now. I don't know why this trainer's level 8 after, um, guy with level 18, 19. He killed my starter. 
from that piece of garbage. Uh, actually, I actually only have one potion, so I guess gonna hop is gonna get them back. I don't know. Well, uh, let's hit him with Drake for now. I can give someone the Razor Fang. I think I'm gonna give Jill the Razor Fang. Oh, let's fling it? Never mind. I think. I must have read that wrong. But I'll go back and check later. I just got my Pokemon back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Hound hour. Okay, so it has a bug. I think it was bug type. So it has a bug or fighting move. Didn't use it. It hit me with a vacuum wave. Air slash. Oh, okay. I guess it's not. Does it have rock in the mix? Does it have steel? Who knows? But it definitely. They have a move. Should have air flashed, honestly. I get it there. Sure. Why does it always end this way? Because life isn't unfair. I mean, life is unfair, not is it? Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Um, okay. Okay, what's the discrepancy in these trainers? Right. Anyways, sooner or later, um, the game's gonna get, like, level sterile, where people are not gonna increase in levels for a while. Happens around Morty's gym. Cause you can go either way. Woo! So everyone's just the same level for no reason. Here's an air on. I really wanna get my um uh Totodel up to a croconaw this episode. We'll see if we're going to keep 7. So it is a ground type. It definitely is a ground type. Might be pure ground too. Sorry if you like know these Pokemon types. But um, uh, yeah, I haven't recorded in like a week. Oh wow, that did like half its health. But yeah, I should, I should be, well, I should chill out on the train a bit. Because even though there are some tough battles, I guess, yeah, sure. But there are some tough battles, but like, nothing crazy's coming up soon. Because I just really wanted to train up for that fight. But, here's our encounter. A Wizmer. I'm pretty sure Wisma was Dragon. No, but Ice. Okay. I don't want to switch. Um, what's my attack like? 37. My best bet's gonna be Fred for this. My weakest move. <laughs> I don't have one. I about shouldn't kill. Okay, didn't. But yeah, it's great. Ooh, something new that happened this week though. Um, Byleth came out in Smash. Funny, right? I didn't really like her at first because all of her moves are slow and have a ton of 
tons of end lag. But then I realized up is like one of the best moves in the game. Oh, it's pure ice, by the way. And uh, yeah. Let's name this potentially loud Pokemon after the best girl from Team Yell. Marnie. Ow. Ow. Well, I guess you're going there too. So both of our team members who have, um, uh... Just got are either paralyzed or poisoned and unable unable to battle. But that's no match to Charmeleon that didn't kill this thing. Don't get buffs and then outspeed me. Okay, thank you. I think I realize how much ghost counters this Pokemon. Pineco. Flying, water, something like that, but it's dead. Sure, buddy. I'll give you my number, because I'm such a cool guy. Lyra. Grandpa. Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has and as healthy as can be. You look fit, too. Hi, Sean. Hello, buddy. Let me introduce you... Oh, this is Sean. He's a trainer. He seems to be... getting better at raising Pokemon. I cannot read today. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Wow. Okay. That's that's fine. You know, I thought you were, like, one of my good friends and something like that. You're just gonna diss me. Whatever. Let me introduce you, introduce you to my friend... Sean. Aha. This is your boy friend? I see. Hmm. What, Grandma? What are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Ha ha ha. I know, I know. This is you brought him here, Lyra? You must be sure about his talent. Right, Sean? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better get going now. See ya. Oh, almost forgot. Here, this is my Pokey your number. You don't battle me, so you're kind of useless. Yeah, okay. Let's check this Pokemon. It's got clear body. It looks like it has the... Um... 130 in defense and speed. Which is not good. Ooh, that might be a problem. Ooh, and the Wismer we just caught. It's calm, keen eye. Looks like it's up in attack and special defense. Which nature power. Pretty nice. Anyways. Here's the daycare lady. Oh wait, um, hmm. I'll think about it later, and between episodes, I'll put a Pokemon in there. But I'll remember to tell you guys. Here, I give you our numbers. Blah blah blah. Cool. So I'll give you their uh. I'll tell you guys what Pokemon I put in next episode off screen. I'll have to think about it because, like, what Pokemon do I potentially want to use? Is Sunkern gonna eventually be a good Pokemon? Who knows? But here we are in Goldenrod City. And let's go check out the department store. Because I don't think I randomize shops. Because I don't think I can. So there's no point. I want to go buy some items. Like this. I want to buy some... 
some super potions. About 15 potions. And I want to buy a Pokeball. And some Great Balls. For the potential um, uh, Pokemon I may catch. What to do? I healed. Got my Pokemon up to speed. Maybe I should... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go get the bike. Cause I feel like that would be a good... thing to get. Woo. But anyways... The Super Bowl is this Friday, not Friday, this Sunday, cool vegetable, and uh, don't really know who I want to win, but I'm going to predict that the Chiefs win, even though this is going to go up the Saturday after the Super Bowl, so if I get it right, it's not going to mean really anything, it's not going to mean anything, but uh, be pretty funny. Near the game corner with Voltorb Flip, which is way better than the other uh, game, the slot machines, that I didn't even feel like doing. But I just had enough money left over to see. Oh, hi Lyra, you're back. Hi Sean, you're just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you see the dress up shop. Accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's a fashion case. Did you say you want it? I knew it. This is a present from me. I never said anything. Anyways. Thanks, Ly Lyra, for that. I got booted out of the game corner. I kept winning with the, the new coin game. They thought I was cheating. Hmm. Whoa. The Volta Club isn't always luck based. There's some things you need to watch out for. But besides that, that's about it. Goodbye. And hello. You are Sun Sport and okay, two dark types. Surprising the um uh, Kanko starters are insanely good at taking down bugs. And they cover each other's weakness with them, uh What was it? With psychic. And rock. So they cover each other pretty nicely actually. But guess what? Our third, fourth, actually, middle stage starter. It still has Runaway. It's got decent stats all around. Not bad, not bad. But with that being said, Harry's the next one to evolve. Nice voice crack, by the way, Sean. Um, my Pokemon just got a haircut. I'll show you how strong it is. Okay. Your Pokemon has hair. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. But my cargo. What is it? Psychic? I don't know. I'm gonna spam rest. Hmm. I guess this is fine for now. Well, goodbye, Macargo.
as we make our way down here, we can talk to these people, and they can give her a Pokemon a haircut. Makes it more friendly. Let's talk to this lady. Give her some cool stuff. But we don't need any of it. Actually, we might need some energy roots, but... No. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. You think or you know? Anyways, there's Boink. Here, the Shockwave. Something that will not affect my hop up in any negative way. Maybe peril paralysis, but besides that. Here we go to level 17. Executed next, and I forgot what type it was. Bug. The Thunder Order is such a good move. Not good enough to keep the Execute alive, but it's a good move. Actually, it actually was just enough to keep this Execute alive. That is kind of gross. That's really gross. Oh, there goes that. And the doctor. Do you consider the Pokemon types in battle? If you don't know about different types of Pokemon, they'll be better in battle. If you do, I think. That's what he said. But. Yeah, that's Pokemon, buddy. If you don't know the type matchups, you can't really do anything. Which is kind of funny, because I don't know the type matchups. I just pray to God I don't get hit with an Ice type. Something that can kill me. Harry's extremely close to getting to what he's doing. What I'm gonna do is actually go to Bruce. Okay, he's an Aaron. Or an Aaron. Well, yeah, it's probably dark. Judging by that. And that means not great. Carol can take this arrow out. <laughs> wow, we defeated Sailor Mark. I've really been paying attention to any of the names, but uh. I'm dressed with Jill. Um, yeah. Confirm. I'm all though. That's funny. Good job. You can check the picture using the PC. But anyways, uh, this episode ran a bit long. But uh, next time on Pokemon Heart Gold Complete Randomizer, we're gonna go and fight Whitney. I'm gonna guess that's gonna be a lot less annoying than fighting Miltank, but we'll see. See you guys then.